Hey y'all, Charlotte from JC Bits here. So we're gonna talk about hackamore placement. And of course we've got the K2 hackamore on here. So let's talk about where it goes on the nose. And really and truly on a hackamore, I like to have a brow band. Um, these hackamores, as you can tell, you can see this head stall from Running Roan Tack. Um, it's very loose and, and all it is is just a single ear. So when I'm running for safety purposes, I like a brow band with a throat latch on it because it just you know these these kind of things can slip around horse shake his head and i've had horses shake these plum off their head and then you're in a wreck so uh, for safety reasons always put a brow band on any hackamore so hackamore placement let's talk about the nose placement okay so this horse right here you see the soft part of his nose right here where i'm on his nasal passages okay right up here is the bone where that rolls down into the nice soft. And as you can tell when I'm squeezing this, you know, Fooster's like, mm, well, he was a minute ago. Now he's gotten used to it. So there's a bone right here. And when that kind of gets into that soft place, that's where you want the hackamore to go. You want it right there as it meets the bone in that soft place. So you don't want it down here because that tends to impede a horse's breathing and cut their nasal passages and make them feel it does not not make them feel like they can't, it doesn't cut their nose air off. It makes them feel like their nose is cut off and they feel like they're in a bind and in a wreck. So they do, they shake their head, they throw their head up, you know, all kinds of things starts happening with negative behavior and that's why. So if your horse is doing that with the hackamore, check your nose placement and make sure that they're comfortable, that it's right on the bridge of that nose where that bone kind of ends right up here with a little bit of soft place, but you don't want it down here over the nasal passages like that, okay? That's too far down and it will cause problems. The curb chain. Yes, I know, I said I prefer the flat chain curb chain over this chain curb chain. Well, the, we do offer this in a leather curb chain because, um, and I just don't have it on today, um, because I was trying to make a chain curb chain because some people prefer chain because they it gives them a little more control and there's nothing wrong with chain you just have to be real careful on how you place it so you're not hitting a horse with that chain if you grab or get a little heavy-handed as we all do when they run so you want to make sure that this is easy and and good reaction because most of the time why we're putting hackamores on a horse is because they don't like bits and we find that you know they just don't seem comfortable in it uh, we still need the control so we don't go to a side pull or anything but that is the reason why people most likely are choosing a hackamore is because we've got some trauma in the mouth or, or maybe they've, they, they just don't like a bit. And there are plenty of horses out there. I've run a lot of horses in Hackamore. So um, anyway, so the chain right here is pretty loose. And if I was gonna run him, I would adjust this chain where, he's like, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> okay, I would adjust this chain where it comes under here and, and it's pretty, not snug, but as you can see where it's pretty, you know, where we can have some stop motion, but you know, I like it to move, Fooster quit, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, so I like it to move, you know, and I like it to move, but I don't want to surprise the horse. I don't want it like so tight like this. So when I put, pull them like that, it has a lot, it, it, it bites them. So um, if your horse is real sensitive, you might want to try the leather curb. I have some longer ones that Running Roan Tack made, but we are um, going to include a chain with all of our uh, K2 hackamores from now on. So there's kind of how we place hackamores and what the best thing to do and, and why you use a hackamore. So uh, with that being said, if you have any questions, go to JNC Bits on Facebook, J underscore C underscore Bits on Instagram. You can email me at JNC Bits at Outlook look.com or you can call or text me at 254-592-2041. Thanks again and see y'all down the road.